have here, Bebo Boulevard, just outside the stadium. Happy hour drinks. Definitely the meeting area of choice for Longhorns fans. Now one thing to know, kids at about an hour and a half before the game actually can run on the field. Look that information up online. There's also midway games and rides here on Bebo Boulevard. It isn't just a place for um, uh, tailgating at a party, you say. As big as Texas as well. Big pop-up shop on the north end. And we have the official team store here on site. So get yourself some of that burnt orange gear. You know, if you're wearing red for some wrong reason. <laughs> Here's probably the more family centric part of Bebo Boulevard as it stretches all the way back there. But you have midway games, tons of food trucks. You actually over here have a concert stage where a lot of famous acts will play free concerts in this sense post game since this is an 11 a.m. start. But there's also a very nice midway music festival called Long One City Limits is a play on Austin City Limits, and we'll go show you. But here's the kids' part. It's all free. The zip line is free. The Ferris wheel is free. All the games are free. Now, one thing I will warn you about is Daryl K Memorial Stadium is 11 stories high. Elevators are pretty limited here. It's built in the 1920s. But the team has done a good job and we'll check out the brand new south end zone. But here on the other side, there's great concessions like local favorite torchies, pluckers, and the one craft beer stand in the whole stadium is here. We'll actually check out the Hall of Fame where I would highly recommend coming into before each game and a little hidden gym where you can actually watch the game from the end. Now I'd recommend every fan, whether you're a Texas fan or not, check out two areas in the stadium. First, I would check out the Hall of Fame. Very, very cool statue of Earl Campbell to greet you, as well as a replica of the Heisman Trophy. It's a simple area that's brand new with the stadium. And it's just a, a very fun area to enter the stadium to kind of grasp the whole history of Texas itself. Not just football, but athletics as well. Again, one of the Texas Athletic Hall of Fame it's usually not open during the week, so if you do come here and like to see exhibits from all sports, I would highly recommend it. If you're coming to a game and it's very hot, as it will be in September, no doubt in Austin, and most of October, the Pluckers End Zone is the place to be. Fully, fully shaded, plenty of fans, and the best food and beverage right here in the lower floor of the stadium. All the TVs are state of the art and show all the other college games give the best selection of drinks as well as the giant silver bullet bar downstairs. Pluckers is also probably the best food in the stadium as well. Highly recommend it. The free viewing area right by the end zone is a great place to watch the game, especially for kids. No matter where you're sitting, you can enjoy the game from here. And there's a TV right in front so you can see the whole field. This is always my favorite hidden gem at DKR Stadium to check out during the game, especially when the ball's on the one. The lowest concourse at DKR Stadium, where the single numbered sections are, is probably your best bet to find food, merchandise. It's the newest, it's one of the newer parts of the stadium. And there's two levels of seating that comes here. So there's concessions are plenty, including local favorites like Austin's Pizza and Lucy's Fried Chicken, which I highly recommend as a Texas treat.
We also can bid on really expensive stuff here too. This is also a great way to quickly get to the brand new south end zone. You also, during warm-ups, can come out and get a look very, very close to the field as this is right on the side line. This is right on the visiting side line. Here is the new south end zone as well as Evo. One thing to also note, if you go to a Texas Longhorn game, you're about a half a mile from the Capitol, which has an open park and open grounds that you can visit in. Tons of statues and even free tours exist here. Monday through Sunday, anyone can come to the Capitol grounds and enjoy the area. It's a couple acres big and it's next door to downtown and the campus. So it's a great place to be. Great thing to also know, UT football games are about five blocks from 6th Street. We have East 6th Street, Rainy Street, or West 6th Street. It's all here for you, and it's all a good thing. Let's go, 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 go.